Okay, welcome back to Whispering Willows. This is part Willows. Willows. This is part two. Where we're at the garden entrance. Let's load this shit. Okay, so we've just come from the catacombs. I just have to remember how to use this. I can run by doing that. I can indeed. Oh, what did that do? I found a fountain. I'm surprised it still works. I don't know if I want to leave the garden yet. A bucket. Born of age. Okay. A scroll there. You know added. Okay, I've been hired as groundskeeper of Willow's Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. It should just be temporary for me. Anyway, but I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to send Eleanor to a good school and buy her the things that she needs. I was actually really lucky to come across this opportunity. The old groundskeeper suddenly decided he'd had enough of the place after 30 some years of watching over it. He quit on the spot. It was an immediate hire position. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, aside from landscaping when I was 17 years old or so. But they needed someone, and it would appear as though I'm someone. Okay. That's as far as it goes. So, we'll head back. The bench. Do we have an option for the bench? No. Okay, you don't have time to rest. That's fine. That way. There you go, doll. What do we go down here? Let's have, have a look through here, shall we? Where are we headed? I don't know. Oh? Oh, this is the way I've just come from? No, this is more wild. Another note. Young Marcus wishes to visit me here, but I have taken up residence inside a meagre farmhouse and I commissioned for men to, men to bail for me. I can't speak today. I do not wish for him to see me living in such a hut, but my means now allow me to live rather more comfortably. And so I've decided to build a mansion benefiting of my rising wealth and stature. As my wealth grows, so too shall my mansion and extravagance of its grounds. My quaint farmhouse shall be converted into a guest house, and I plan to host functions that will make me famous on this side of the country. I hope to have much in order when he arrives, such that we may spend ample time visiting together. He has informed me that within his letters me within his letters of how much he has grown. I truly cannot wait to see the boy. It's been far too long and I look forward to seeing him and getting a glimpse of what his mother has shown up inside him. What of his mother? Oh, oh right, okay. That makes more sense. Let's have a look mm -hmm. in the, to cut the vines with so I'm looking for some sort of scissory type thing. What's that? The front of the mansion? Is there anything over here first? Oh, that's so many places to go. Ooh, this is kind of creepy. I like it. What's that? I don't want to go up the stairs yet. No. I'll have a look at the globe. No? Oh, oh another note. I do believe we've found an opportune location for our new home. A verdant glade surrounded by rivers teeming with fish and an abundance of wild game. A complication exists, however. The glade is home to a tribe of savages called the Quantanko. I have heard tell I have heard tell that they are a peaceful folk, but it confines my mind to think that savages with neither government nor laws could contain any amount of civility within their primitive brain. But I shall do my part as a member of the superior race and extend to them the decorum upon which I most was most Robustly reared, I shall conduct myself as though I, w I were at a business meeting with other refined gentlemen. There's a lot of reading in this game. A lot of reading. Press up. Okay, I'll go up. There we go. Nice action of moving there. Can I look in here? Oh, I'm glowing. Does she want to come out, does she? I feel like I might find something. Anything? Oh! I must admit, frankly, I'm shocked. It feels like I've been waiting around forever for my business meeting with Mr. Willows. The sun here is so bright and warm, I may just take a nap in it. Thank you, Les Rivers. I'll just go back in my body, thank you, Les. Okay, go on down, love. Go on. And let's go back outside. That was a little bit odd, huh? Can we run? And we'll go here. In the front of the mansion. Is it nice? Is it lovely? 
Okay. Oh, not. Oh, there's another ghosty. Do now. Okay. Oh my, it has been quite chilly as of late. Well, that's. Please take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Why, such a gentleman? I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, miss, the pleasure is all mine. All my talking done? Yep, yeah, okay, let's go back in my body. How strange, there's lots of ghosties here. No, I, no, I have to help Flying Hawk find his body first. Okay. Do I have a flying... Oh, right, could, could this let me know? I arrived in California last week and have luckily already managed to find work for myself. I am a dancer in the local saloon. It is not the gl not the glamorous life here I had imagined, but it is something. And that is all I need for now. The saloon also runs a brothel in its walls, but I could never resort to such a profession. Most of the town is owned by a man named Wortham Willows. I have not seen the man, but his name is on the lips of almost all I meet. He even owns the saloon where I work. There are rumours about him, some good, some bad. I do not know which to believe. Oh, what do we believe about where the willows? Mm. Yeah, maybe it was nice. The back of the mansion. The tool shed. Let's have a go to the tool shed. A spade. It could be a fairly old spade. Oh, there we go. I'd heard stories of this place when I was growing up from my grandparents who learned about its history in school, but I never knew what to believe. Who to believe. The stories from my family told a dark history, brutal genocide and inhuman, inhumane, no inhuman, enslavement of our people, the Quantanko natives. The history I learned in school was quite different, were than Willows. The forebear of this place was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavours the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument, and the evidence is strewn about these grounds. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Okay, should we go to the back of the mansion then? Go this way. Oh, that's a little step. Enter the guest house, as this is the old place to live. very quiet in here. Okay, I'm going through this door by the looks of it. Okay, in the turn. Yeah, you probably would. All my prayer, all my devotion did nothing to save Martha. I do not even have the resources to build a proper casket for her. God has truly forsaken us both. I couldn't just leave her there in the desolate plains for the rats and maggots to have at her. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. We were to carve a home together out of the wilds of the west. She will come with us, and she will not be interred until I have found a suitable place for her. If any man dares object to my decision to bring Martha with us, no matter his reasons, I shall in that very instant shoot him dead. Okay, it's all getting a little bit serious. Go this way this time. Ah. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere now. Mm -hmm. Somebody's inside the body. Oh. Somewhere in the guest house. Okay. Body's somewhere in the guest house. Oh, yeah. There we go. That is nice. Is this him? Hey there, little lady. Let me play a tune that's as pretty as you. Oh, no, I must apologise, little lady. I can't remember how it goes. I don't have my sheet music either. If you can find it, I'd love to play a song. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Mate, that's a little bit weird. Oh, I didn't even see the note there. It has been many a year since the great bald eagle first visited me. Its visit is always a sign. I must take great care to decipher the meaning of my vision. The pit in my stomach warns me of what could be if I do not. 
I flew once more with the great bald eagle, but this time he did not show me what was or what will be. No, he instead showed me what already is. We travelled east across the land to where the white men live in their busy cities with their busy lives. They are removed from the great spirit's presence, ruled by a different god, one that manifests their destinies. I could see the spread of these people, like a sickness within the body, they grow and expand. I saw trails before them that blazed with fire, and gold and glimmered in men's eyes, and they were entranced by it. It is their fortune, they saw within the fires, that these white men desire. Riches these men shall seek, but only... Ah, turmoil and death they shall find. I awoke violently from the trance, my blanket strengths were set. We must ready ourselves for their coming. We must be the cure for their sick spirits. If not us, then whom? The duty falls to my people. For we are those who have been shown the way. We must protect our way of life, not through violence, but through a communion with nature and one another. Okay. I want to go this way first. Anything there? No? Okay. Well, I'll head on upstairs then. Okay. There's a door there. That door's stuck. So we're going to this door. That door's stuck. All the doors are stuck. Why? We'll stick in the doors. We'll open that. Oh, well, that was a bit of a stupid idea. Open the card and do it. Oh, I see now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go through here and move this. And move it right to the end just in case I can't move around it, I guess. I kind of guess that's the idea of this. Oh, jeez. What I've got to do? Keep going. Right, we'll leave the dresses there. Uh, oh, yeah, possess my own body now. Okay. So, what have we got in here? Okay. Might as well open all the curtains. You know, it's daylight. Um, bathroom? A toilet? Yeah. Ugh. Well, don't be so picky. You just pee where you gotta. Okay. <sighs> Can't rest until I find Dad. Open those curtains. Climb up this ladder. Ah, okay. So creepy. I keep expecting. Really? That to move? It had arms, maybe. But that doesn't have arms. That door's locked, okay. Let's have a look through here. No wheels or anything. Yeah. They've got suitcases without wheels. New note added. A group of young braves spied a party of white men coming from the east. We do not yet know anything about them. It is my hope that we will be of no danger. They will be no danger to us. However, we must ready ourselves for action if need be. All the while presenting open arms to these new friends, we have prepared food so that our visitors may share in our bounty, and we wish to welcome them. Some of the women and children have prepared themselves to flee. These men turn violent. Something I ask them to do ask of them to do. I hate to think it, but we will need people to continue our line. Among these women are and children are my daughters, granddaughters and grandsons. If I cannot save myself, I can at least save them, but I have no doubt these white men will regard us well. So long as we show ourselves to be welcome and civilised, they will see us as their own. We'd like to hope so, hey? We would like to hope so. That does not, that's fine. There's a means, there's a way. Go on. Not to look in this door. 
And the one they need to get towards from the well, the only ones so I left the bucket back in the garden. When they can't find me, what will they do? They'll go thirsty, that's right. Okay. Oh dear, torture table. Well, that's a psychopath over there. Oh dear. Right. I don't think I want to go talk to her because she's a bit of a loony. So, where do we go now? Where did I come from? Oh, the ladder. That is. My mistake, you. I don't need to move that now. That was the bathroom. Right, here we go. So, I need to go through here. Okay, what's up here? Okay, this is a little bit weird. Oh god, what on earth is going on here? So this is the way I need to go. This one. Down. No, that took me in a circle again. There we go. No, not quite. Okay, this way. There. No. Oh, you joker. There's the bottom one down here. That will take me up and out. Then what do I do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I can get through here. How strange. There we go. Pull my way through. Sheet music. Well, that fella wanted some sheet music, didn't he? I can go and give him a sheet music, I guess. Where's the jazz musician go? Here he is. It's a. Uh... Oh, thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. I've been so lost without the gift of music in my life. Now I shall pray for you the song I promised. to go into the basement. I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. Excellent. You must dig, Eleanor, and discover what lies beneath. Dig? Oh, there. But this isn't right. We've unearthed these anguished souls of the dead. Get out now. Um... Um, oh dear, and she won't even run, she won't even run because she's inside, her manners need so much so that she won't even run. I'm baffled by this Eleanor, I was sure my body would be found here, I remember falling, falling down into darkness, a pit of despair, please Eleanor, we must continue the search. Okay, well that was Whispering Willows part two. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very story-based game, so there's lots more action to come. Thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos, and until next time, see you in another video. Goodbye.